Do you want to slice a 3D model? Autodesk 123D Make was an easy program with tutorials all over the web. Unfortunately, you can no longer use the program. So in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative way to cut up your 3D model into segments. I'll be using a program called Ice SL Slicer. Just go to their website, scroll down, and click Download Now. Before we jump into using the slicer, let's get a 3D model to slice. You can download a free model or you can make one yourself. In this demonstration, I'll be using Tinkercad, a free web app for 3D design. I created a simple Pac-Man model using their basic shapes. After creating the model, you'll need to add a hole which will be your alignment keyway. This will make it easier for you to align all of your pieces. I placed the model on its side because the slicer slices from the bottom to the top. I felt that this 3D model would look better when the slices were put together in this way. I'll now ungroup the model to show you what I used to create the model. I used a triangle for the mouth, a square to flatten the bottom, and ovals for the eyes. Once the model was complete, I highlighted all the pieces and grouped them together. Save your model to your computer. With the slicer program open, you want to now open your 3D model for slicing. Go up to the menu bar and click File Load Model. You can now see that your 3D model is loaded into the workspace in the same orientation as before. Now head up to where it says Slice to G code and change it to Slice to SVG. Here you will see the settings for slicing. The only one you will need to change is the thickness of your slices. That will all depend on what material you will be using to cut out the shapes. In my case, I'll be using 4.8 millimeter foam. Next, click on the gear icon. You don't normally need to change the processing. Auto select usually works. So when you are ready, press the click to run button. In case of an error, you would then need to go back to the processing and change it from auto select to one of the others. When you're finished, press the click to run button once again. Now that you are finished, you are now able to open up each individual slice as an SVG file. I opened up all of the SVG files in one program for demonstration purposes to show you each individual slice and what it looks like when it was done. There are many ways to cut out these slices. That would also depend on the thickness that you set in the slicer. For me, I use 4.8 millimeter foam and carve them all out using my CNC router. Don't forget to use your alignment keyway because who knows what it'll look like if you don't. 